This is Deli. She's an eight month old, extremely nervous mini Australian Shepherd. I've done multiple sessions with Deli. She's gotten better. They might do the board and train, but we decided to do something that sometimes we do, which is owners drop the dog off for a session. They're gonna leave for a half an hour. This is gonna see whether Deli, sometimes the dogs go, oh, you're my new person now. I better be good with you. Or they go, I'm not gonna be good with you. It's gonna take hours or a week or whatever it is. We're gonna see which one it is. I kind of blocked her as they were leaving, although I think she probably knows where they left from, to, to, so she didn't see, but we're gonna see how it goes. So what we're gonna first do is put a leash on her. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get Deli if she doesn't want me to get her, okay? That's why we're starting in the pool area too, so that she can't just have this whole property to run around. Now let's see if Deli says, Oh, you're my new person. I know you. Mom and dad are gone. I now need a person, so you're my person. Some dogs are like, I don't need anyone. I just need my mom and dad, and you don't matter at all. Are you a good girl, Deli? Are you a good girl? I'm not worried about getting bit. She, I wouldn't have my face this close to a, a dog, but she's not a biter. She's a runner. So already we're seeing that she is not going to be like, oh, you're my new person. Okay, she's like, where, where did mom and dad go? But she's been here like five times. So this is not a new place to her. She's done like four or five sessions. So I just wanted to cut in and show you what Deli is like with the owners. Two dogs around, owners right there, me in the area somewhere. She's totally happy dog. She's totally different with the owners. That's why it was important for the owners to get out of there. This is about 10 minutes after the owners got back, about 20 minutes after I filmed the session that you're watching. I just wanted you to see what she's like, how happy she is when they're there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep her on a leash. This is something you can do with like a rescue dog that you get. You know, you're not sure about it. You just keep them on a leash. You keep them, you keep them on a short leash. You can just see your nervousness. Deli, come on. Just be really soft with them at the beginning. Come on, good girl. Come on, Deli. Try not to use the leash. Like you want her to come with you? Come on. You want her to make a choice to come? Oh, you want to go? She likes the pool actually. You're okay. Deli. Now, guys, there's really like two schools of thought when it comes to nervous dogs, okay? One is you don't ever push them. You e Even people think you offering a treat and a nervous dog coming to get the treat is like pushing them too hard. And I'm like, they're making a choice to come get it, but it's like, oh, you're, you're, you're forcing them. Well, you're not forcing them. You're offering them a treat, they're making the choice. But there are people who think that's even too much pushing them. Then there are people, a lot of times older men, who are like, oh, you'll get used to it, and they, you know, they're a nervous dog, they'll, they'll force people to come up and pet their dog and their dog, they think the dog will get over it. I'm right in the middle, okay? I've seen that method work. That's actually what we're doing sometimes with her with one of the owners, okay? Is, is we're saying, yeah, pet my dog on the back because some dogs will avoid people for the rest of their life. They, they need to be shown, it's like when I do the pool thing, You've probably seen it and the dogs are like, I'm never going in the pool. And I go, bink, and I put them in the pool. And then they go, oh, that feels good. I didn't die. They'll never choose to go in this pool unless they're forced to go in this pool. Then they realize, oh, that wasn't so bad. And actually I like it, especially on a hot day. So there's, there's a lot of credence to sort of the, I'll do it right now, okay? Does Deli want me to pick her up? No, she doesn't. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Good girl. Does Deli want me to pick her up? No. Will Deli ever over the next 15 years of her life let a person pick her up if she's never forced to be picked up? She might avoid it for 15 years. You really, it's, it's not a no brainer that you just let the dog avoid and never push them. Oh, but Deli's scared. Yeah, Deli's scared. My first daughter, my only daughter, was 
good. Was scared her for her t years of life. Now she's the most confident little, little girl. We had to find that line of when to say, you're fine, you're a big girl, you need to go to school, and when to let her hold on to mommy and say, we're skipping school today. It's a line. It's not an obvious thing like you guys think, like some people think, like positive reinforcements people think. Good girl. Okay, so I softened. I sat down. My, me being big and pulling her towards me wasn't working. But it's not obvious that I'm going to sit here for three hours and feed this dog treats until the dog gets comfortable. Now she's in my arms. Okay? Don't ever think it's obvious. Don't be in one of those schools. Don't be in the old school. Get used to it, dog. And don't be into the, we're going to toss treats and you're going to never be challenged school. They're both bad. It's middle of the road. Okay, now let's see if I'm going to put her down. She's gonna leave, but she's not going anywhere. She'll avoid her whole life. She'll avoid life her whole life. Can't do that. She's got genetic fear, okay? They've done a good job with her her whole life. She came like this. Come on. Good girl. Deli, am I being soft? Am I being nice? Yes. So I'm gonna expect, come on. Good girl. And she's getting pulled in, and she's getting picked up, and she didn't die. That's the process, okay? I know, I know. You wanna meet your friends? She likes Prince, and we have another little nervous dog. Let's come up here. We have another little nervous mini Aussie, Bailey, who you guys have met. Let's go, Bailey on a leash, out front. Okay, meeting, she's never met this dog. Same breed, super nervous. They're gonna like just avoid each other, but that's good. Two nervous dogs, they're not gonna overwhelm each other. Like if I bring out some dogs, they're gonna just overwhelm her, it's too much. Remember that middle of the road. Yeah, meet the dog, you can't avoid life but we're not gonna have the dog run up to you. Okay, Bailey's coming out on leash. Yeah, I'm ready when you are. Now we're up in a new spot. Good, I don't think she knows. Owner's left that way. I don't think she knows where they left at. Now first dogs. This dog needs experiences in life. Oh my goodness. Bailey, do you even see the other dog? Similar breed, not the same breed. Oh my, oh, perfect dogs to meet. Look at, look at her go forward. Perfect dogs to meet. Is that your friend? Is that your friend? Yeah, yeah. She wants to leave. I am definitely not gonna let her leave with a dog like Bailey. I'd let her leave with a dog like Prince. Bailey's not doing anything, right? It's that line. Do you avoid Bailey? If Bailey's overwhelming, yeah, you can avoid Bailey. Bailey's the least overwhelming dog in the world. So no, you can't avoid Bailey. You can't just let your nervous dogs constantly avoid life. Okay? And I think you guys know that. But you also don't want them to be overwhelmed. You have to find that line. Here, just stare at there, Dawson. Good. Good. I'm not taking her off the leash. I didn't know if I was going to take her off or not. She's going to just, she's not going to be great. Here, let her, let her say hi. Remember how I talk about like relationship? It's not a, the biggest deal for most of you guys. Your dog loves you. You need to be more firm and have more discipline and be more no nonsense. That, that's the bigger deal. Then there are dogs that relationship 
matters. Um, and relationship can be built on, on discipline and I say what I mean uh, and I mean what I say, but like relationship for this dog is obviously important. Like I need to have a good relationship with her and that's gonna take time. And it's gonna take softness, okay? And just time is the main thing. Bailey, yeah, that's your friend. That's your friend. Okay, let's go down to the pasture. We're gonna let these two run around. I'm gonna leave the leash on this one. We're just taking her to new spots. There's turf and a pool with running water in there. There's grass and a bunch of smells down there. This dog needs experiences in life. Your dog needs experiences in life. It's enough with the four walls in the backyard of your house and the same walk, okay? When I'm big, when I'm tall, is when she gets the worst. I have to be crouching down and then going to get her. Good girl, you're fine. You're fine. Come on. Okay, everyone, let's go down here. Now we're in the pasture. We're gonna put her down. She's gonna run around. We're gonna film it. We're gonna see how she does. But I'm gonna leave the leash on her because I need to be able to get within and step on that leash and pick her up. I don't know if she's letting me pick her up. And this is a pretty big area. Okay, let's let Bailey off, off leash. Okay, let's let her off leash. She can't just run away from me right away. Oh, she already is like smelling the ground like this is an, oh, sort of an interesting place. Yeah, that's your friend. And we're going to just drop the leash. Let's see what she does. I have a kind of a theory, not a theory about her, but a lot of nervous dogs is, yes, they're nervous, but they're nervous because they've just been allowed to avoid life. Like when you get this dog in the pool area, she starts swimming and running around. It's like, she's got a lot of happiness in her life actually, but she's just said, I'm avoiding those people. I'm avoiding that store. I'm avoiding whatever it is. And then she's hard headed about it. But the truth is she's in a way, not that scared. In a weird way, she's actually not that scared. There's real fear. You can see it in their eyes. Then there's minor fear, then there's Bailey, which is kind of this draw, she's drawn a line in the sand that this is scary. When you get her in that pool, she, she starts running and jumping around. And then, and like, she's like a normal dog. Okay, so she's at the gate. Oh my gosh, Joel, oh, the dog's nervous. I can't stand to see this. The dog's fine. The dog needs, kids go through this. They go through screaming before they go to school. People seem fine with like, hey kid, you gotta go to school while their kid's screaming. And then this like, oh, this makes me so sad. Some, some, some of you, it's silly. It's silly. The dog needs help, okay? And the help does not come from being with mom and dad and never being challenged. And the owners know this. Her owners are super responsible people. Sometimes you get the, you research the breeder, everything seems great, parents seem great, you get the dog and it's like this. It just happens. There seems to be no rhyme or reason to it sometimes. I know, I know there's your friend. Come on, I'm gonna stand up here and we're gonna see if that flushes her this way. Good, good, good girl, you're a good girl. Ah. I know, I know. I'm trying to be soft, I'm trying to talk nice. So I blocked off, Go, you're okay, you're okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So I blocked off the door, right? What's, what's, does she want to be at that door or does she want to deal with me? She has to make a choice. She has to make a choice. If she wants to get to the door, she's got to face her fears of me. Okay. Here, get Deli. I know, I know, I know, I know. Deli's a good girl. Deli needs like a lot of exposure and we just need to find that line of when is she overwhelmed and we need to, to just walk that line. If we had any tiny little sheep 
we could have quite a little uh, herding group with these two. But we need little sheep. Aussie and a border collie, I believe. Mini. Or mini Aussie. Or a mix. I forget. Border collie Aussie mix. Does she look terrified? She actually doesn't. She looks scared. Is anyone mean to her? No, Dawson's not mean, I'm not mean, this dog isn't mean. These are good experiences. Even though the dog is nervous, this is a good experience. Even though she's nervous, it's a, it's a plus, it's a big plus. No bad experiences around men, around another dog. This just needs to happen over and over and over again. All right, so that's the video. The owners left for obvious reasons. They, they actually brought up that idea, which I forget about sometimes. Owners left. Now we're getting into a glimpse of what happens when the owners are gone because she is, she is, she is um, stuck to them. Okay, and we need to get her as happy with us as she is with them. And the best thing for this dog is probably to get the owners out of the mix for a couple days, something like that. Just she's got to face life. She, she, the owners are a security blanket. They're always there. She never has to deal with anything because they're there. They've done a good job of going, no, 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 you need to deal with this, but they're still there and they'll always be there. And that's a problem. Her brain just goes, it's like a security blanket. It's like a little kid that carries around its little blanket all the time. Probably not the best thing in the world. My kids never did it. We never wanted this thing that they had to have to, have, to be comfortable in the world, right? But it's worse. It's worse than that, than, than a little kid with a blanket. All right, that's the video. Nervous dog stuff. Hopefully you learned something. Like the video, comment what you think. I did a video with her like two months ago, so you can go back to her first session if you want. Um, subscribe to the channel, it would help me out a lot.